Welcome back to the kitchen guys my name is Kim and today I'm going to show you how I use some of my dehydrated tomatoes in a, a in my uh, lasagna. Today it's going to be a chicken lasagna um, I'm only going to show you guys how to put the mince and cook the mince together um, if you want to know how I rehydrated these tomatoes at the end of the video I will link the video there where I showed you how I actually made the uh, dehydrated tomato mix that I'm adding to the mince. So guys, this is going to be quick, easy, simple. And I know I say that all the time and that's because it is quick and easy, simple. And don't forget if there's an ingredient you don't like in my recipes, cut that out, add something different. If you don't have it dehydrated or you don't have it fresh, just turn it around and use the opposite one. All right, so let's get in and get this mince puts together so that I can show you guys how quick and easy it is. All right, guys, I am voiceovering this one today. My family was in the kitchen while I was cooking dinner and we were talking about things that I can't put on my videos. So uh, as you probably have already noticed, there is no oil and or no garlic in my pot. That is because I was sidetracked chatting away with my family. So that is why I've added it now. Um, so this is chicken mince. So we're just going to uh, cook this down. And don't worry, I will add some garlic a little bit later on to, uh, to the pan as well. So um, you can use whatever meat you want, chicken, pork, beef. It doesn't really matter. The um, It's all mince and it just depends on what type of meat you want to use for it. The more you can break it down whilst it's still starting to cook, the better, the smaller pieces you get, especially chicken. And I have used turkey as well, and I find they don't break up anywhere near as well as what a beef or a pork mince does. So the first ingredients we're putting in here is leek. I have no onion, as you would notice, I didn't put any of that in to start with either. And then we're gonna add in a few other ingredients and remembering, I don't measure so this is all done by the handful so uh, as I'm putting the mushroom here a lot of my family don't like mushroom so I try and crumble it up as much as I possibly can and it is all dehydrated vegetables that I'm adding to this meal today the next ingredient you'll see there this is shredded yellow squash uh, it is also dehydrated and it was also a like uh, the leek was also out of my garden, I grew it as well. And this bowl is the sauce that I was telling you about. If you want to see how I made this out of dehydrated tomatoes and vegetables, the video for that will be at the end of this one and it is entitled Rehydrated Tomato Soup in the playlist. Now the liquid I've just added to there was the leftover liquid that I used to rehydrate my tomatoes. It is full of nice yummy tomato flavours along with any nutrients uh, out of the tomatoes as well. So your soak water that you use to soak your vegetables to rehydrate them, you can use that in whatever it is that you make. Now I'm adding in my flavorings. This is some mix. This is some sorry. This is some Italian herbs. You can use mixed herbs, whatever flavor herbs that you want to add into it. This is some chicken stock. Probably two teaspoons. I've put in there a little bit more if you choose to. I find a lot of meat these days is not as flavored as it could have been when you buy it from the store. So I usually use a bit of chicken stock instead of uh, salt in my meals. And the last ingredient I'm adding here is the garlic. I'm using garlic powder. I could have used uh, normal garlic uh, out of the fridge, minced garlic, but I obviously forgot to put that in. And my special ingredient that I put into most of the minces I make, which is barbecue sauce. It just adds a really, really nice sort of flavour. The lid got blocked, so I had to take it off and pour. And uh, 
you can use tomato paste or tomato sauce if you want um, or a dash of sugar to help with the acidity of the tomatoes but I find the flavour of the barbecue sauce adds a few more flavours and some more depth to the flavour as well. Give it a go guys, add the barbecue sauce and see if you like it. The amount of, that you put in there is usually just depends on how much you're making. I have a kilo of mince in this one so I put probably about a quarter cup of the barbecue sauce in there. So now it's just a matter of doing your, your taste testing and seeing if the flavours are to your liking and we decided that this was to our liking so we're just letting it cook along a little bit more to help with the flavours um, to incorporate into the chicken. So once you have got all this taste tested and you are happy with the flavours, go ahead and make your lasagna up and make it into a beautiful looking lasagna we all know how to make a lasagna i hope we do anyway um, uh, and then once you have made it up cook it in the oven and it will just be the most beautiful flavored lasagna that you've ever had and don't forget to serve it with some of those beautiful homemade pickled cucumbers, homemade beetroot and some homemade pickled onions. Okay guys, that was the lasagna. It is super easy, super quick, especially when you're using dehydrated foods that are already prepped and ready to go. You can throw it all in your pan and it's all super good and done. I have just finished eating it and oh my god, it was so beautiful, so yummy. I'm about to put the rest of it into the fridge. The kids are not hungry at the moment, so I'm going to put this in the fridge for later on for them. And I just want to say a thank you to you guys again for joining me here in the kitchen. And I really hope that you give this recipe a try. And um, don't forget to check out the two links I've got here uh, that I've put up the side here for you. The subscribe button up the top here somewhere. And I really hope that you will join me again in the kitchen, the garden, or wherever we will be next time we meet.